welcome to my channel my name is Nikki thank you for stopping by this is a 10 by 10 canvas and um, that's what we're gonna be working on go over my color palette with you guys the first color I have is Liquitex basics this is in brilliant purple um, I cut the top off so I could get the rest out but this is the artist loft in metallic purple and then I have Neon Orange. And I have Art Minds Brush Metallics in Peridot. And I have the DecoArt Americana Metallics in Vintage Brass. And I also have uh, mixed the Artist Loft Full Acrylic and White with some DecoArt Satin Enamels in Pure White. So... That's what we're working with. And I thought I had gotten an extra bottle of that metallic purple. But I can't find it in my stash. So I guess I didn't. Um, <clears throat> so I've just got my white mixture here. I'm going to. Let me brush off my um, gloves for shedding. And yeah. So let's just put down my. Not going to be real heavy with that because I'll pour a puddle. Let's just use this. Normally, I would just use my hands, but I don't want any of this dried paint to just on my gloves to flake off onto the canvas. I have <clears throat> I haven't saw my little lizard friend that likes to surprise me. I haven't saw him in here in a couple weeks. Probably yeah, three or four weeks and um I see him. He's we had some really cold weather and I thought maybe he had frozen. Um but I see him up there um, at the top of the ceiling, and he's bright green, which means he's healthy and happy. And as long as he stays up there, I'll be happy too. Right? Right. <laughs> My only concern is this orange going muddy when put on the purple. So I'm going to layer the white in between it to hopefully reduce that. I know we uh, normally... Go for the 24 karat um, gold for the deco art. But I've got all these colors and I never seem to use them because I'm always using just the 24 karat. So I said I'm going to use a color other than that. Um, so I pulled out the antique brass. It really is a pretty color. And hopefully, if this works well together, I've mixed up enough that I can do a 10 by 20 in the flip and drag style. So, I'm going to put down a puddle of white. Yeah. 
and hopefully I can move my cup around to create some interest. I have excess paint on here and I prefer that upper right hand portion more than the lower left hand. So that's why I'm pouring more of that off. down so This is nice. There's plenty of interest. Nice. Some nice cells forming. 
Um, and of course, there's no silicone in this, so it's just the paint. And the the uh, vintage brass is causing some cells in this area. You and down here. So overall, yeah, I like this. This is it's come out pretty nice. I'm gonna take you down. All right. Let's give you some close-ups. You can see those cells that uh the center of it is that vintage brass. Um, those cells are a result of the sand enamel. But these ones up here are the vintage brass as well. And then these are the satin enamel. So... Yeah, overall, this is, I like how this come out. There's plenty of interest in the composition. Um, I really like that. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye.